Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, once again, wouldn't you have it, more repairs. As I said in our last video on our uh, wheel and adventure there, uh, my power steering pump decided she wanted to uh, not pump anymore. So, here we are, we're going to conquer that. It's a pretty easy process, but I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. So, um, without further ado, let's get into this. And uh, But first, actually, I'll show you what it's doing and uh, down in the comments, hashtag, Dodge life, if you know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> let me show you what it's doing here, real quick. All right, let's start this guy up. Whoop! Copyright music. Okay, start it up. Sure, we're in neutral. So you, I don't know. I hope you can see the wheel. So she'll turn right now. But that's as far as she turns. I gotta give her some juice. There, she's done. There we go. See that? Like that's 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 all my weight. I'm trying to bring that back. Give her some juice and she comes back. So I'm pretty certain we've got a bad pump. Let me shut this off before we die of carbon monoxide in here. So yeah, I'm gonna uh for the cost of the pump, pretty cheap. This one made a little bit of noise at uh full lock a couple times on me and I didn't think much of it, but yeah, let's like blah, blah, blah. let's yank this bad boy out and see what we're up against. All right, first and foremost, we need to get that belt off. And unfortunately, I can't find my serp serpentine belt tool, so we're going old school. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this off. And it's it's pretty simple. I think most of you guys probably know how to. Uh, move the tensioner over and pop the belt off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There we go, I hope you can see that. So all you gotta do is uh, give it a yank clockwise, such as this, and you can see it uh, relieving the pressure off the belt. So let's, let's yank this off and we'll continue on. All right, next up we are going to remove the uh, power steering lines, but actually first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain this reservoir so I don't make a crazy mess all over the floor. I know I'm gonna make a bit of a mess, but I'm gonna try to catch what I can and then degrease the rest. But uh, right down in there, you can see uh, one of the bolts going through the, pop of the top of the power steering pump. There are three of them. They are, if I remember correctly, about a 13 mil. So uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. We'll undo them. And then we should have enough room to slide the pump through the bottom. So let's get at it. Well, you can see what I've got going under here. I have sprayed my high pressure line with uh, some move it just to ensure I'm uh, able to get it to separate. Now I'm going to attempt to here, let me move over here. Uh, to undo these guys. They look oh, it looks like a 13, I don't know. I got a 13 in my hand, so I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see here. I think no extension. Just going to go through, turn my fan blade a little bit. Get this belt out of the way. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're 13, we're good. Okay, let's crack these babies loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna loosen them all a tad. I'm gonna remove the top two, leave the bottom one. Or maybe, yeah, I'll probably leave the bottom one connected and then uh, disconnect all the lines and everything. And then we'll be able to drop it out. All three bolts are uh, cracked loose. You can see I removed the uh, top one and the uh, second one, I left the bottom one in. Something I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna uh, drain the reservoir rather than getting a uh, half a liter of oil come pouring out through the uh, low pressure line. Just to make things a little safer for me so I'm not making a mess here, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna use a fluid extractor and suck it all out of there. So there we go, she is completely undone. The bottom bolt is just hanging there. I'm just letting it finish uh, doing its drip. Uh, it lost a little bit of fluid, not too much. Luckily, I had something there to catch it. Um, everything came apart like butter. So, um, yeah, all in all, super easy job. Uh, nothing to worry about too much. All the bolts that hold the uh, power steering pump in are exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. So, yeah, what an easy, easy pump to do. I, I'm going to try to drop the pump through right here. I'm not sure if that's going to work. It looks like I should have enough room, but we'll find out in a minute here. Once it uh, stops dripping, I just don't want to take a bath. So <laughs> let's let it drip for a minute and I'll be back with you. All right, there you go. As you can see, there is no power steering pump. She slid right out the bottom, easy as butter again. So uh, 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, power steering pulley puller, remove the pulley, and uh, get this thing swapped out. I'm not gonna film the uh, installation because, well, it's pretty much just a reverse of what I just did. But uh, yeah, for now I'm gonna just uh, tidy up my mess here and get that done. So yeah, all in all, power steering pump on a Ram 2500 power wagon, super easy, not too involved at all. I mean, basic hand tools aside from the uh, puller, but. Yeah, I think it's taken me, shoot, no joke, probably 20 minutes, maybe, maybe half an hour and um, 15, 15 minutes of that was me waiting for the uh, move it or uh, liquid wrench to free up my fitting on my high pressure line, as I said. So, but yeah, all in all, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, we'll get her done. All right, guys, I finally got it back together after uh, quite the comical experience. My uh, power steering and alternator pulley set, for whatever reason, didn't have the proper installer for Chrysler. So I was left trying to find one locally and I couldn't find one. So I ended up uh, calling my buddy that has a shop and just getting him to slap it on for me. But uh, yeah, all in all, I don't think you're gonna be able to see in there. Maybe, just maybe. But uh, yeah, new pump is in. We've got uh, power steering, I blend it all out, um, give it a flush just to make sure there's no contaminants in the lines and uh, give her a road test and it's great. We can steer at all RPM and man, let me tell you, it feels like a completely different truck now, but um, I'm gonna uh, clean up my mess here and then I'm gonna go drive it around town, you know, go into some parking lots, do that again. And then I'm gonna do another flush just to make sure that I've gotten all the contaminants possible out of the line so um yeah all in all it was it's super easy to do i mean it's not very involved my pump i got really lucky i have the uh, snap ring retained backplate which makes the pump substantially cheaper uh through dodge the pump was 700 or 790 bucks uh locally here it was 190 bucks and then with my discount it brought it down to 105 so I'm pretty happy with that. New serpentine belt, new power steering fluid, new all that good stuff. Um, one thing I did notice, my uh, tensioner is a little bit stiff, so we'll see what happens there. But uh, yeah, all in all, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, see you later.